Good morning, Black Maps users. Today, uh, or for a while now, we've had a couple requests on how do I get my Google API key. Um, so I'm going to show you that today. But first, we're going to look at this real quick: the usage limits. Now, this is for the Maps to Apps Black Maps. This uh, will bypass proxy use on the places details requesting data from the places details Google API. So, I mean, it's faster that way. Without verifying your identity, you only get 1,000 requests per 24 hour period. And for what you guys are doing, that's not much. And we see here, verify your identity to get up to 150,000 requests per 24 hour period. Okay. The limit for free usage is 150,000 requests per 24 hour period. If your app exceeds the limit, the app will start failing again. Okay, so there should be nothing charged when we get to this step. But first, uh, I'm using a what is this Microsoft Edge just because I don't have anything saved in this browser so it's perfect for doing this video and keep in mind this whole thing is just off the cuff so I might make some errors here and there I'll just correct them real time so right now I'm going to make my Google uh, or excuse me my Gmail account uh, for the purpose of this video I'm going to use uh, my real name because when we get over here, when we enable billing, we ask for your credit card to validate your identity. I, I'm the, Google asks. It has nothing to do with us. Your card will not be charged for the use of Google Places API web service. Okay, so I'm going to pause it now. I'm going to make my new Gmail. I'm going to use my real name because when I enter this credit card that they claim will not be charged I want everything to match up I don't know if that's required I don't know how strict it is I'm just doing playing it safe for for this video so I'll be back in a minute logged in with a gmail account alright so I'm gonna be maps to apps dot Larry Got my password, put a date, put a birth date. I'm not going to mess with the phone. I'll use this to verify 131. All right. Next step. I agree. Okay. All right. So now I am. Now I have my uh, maps to apps. Like th this, I just did this because I don't. Uh, my primary email with Gmail is already used for a key, so I'm just gonna faster way to get. Yes, I use Chrome normally. Okay, so now we're logged into Gmail. I want to sign in and that's if I can remember what I just typed three minutes ago. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now I'm maps to apps dot Larry at gmail dot com. I'll be deleting this email after this video, so don't try to contact me there. This is just for uh this video okay so I want to get my API key but I really need more than a thousand requests per day so let's bump this up to hundred and fifty thousand much nicer let's enable billing so we got three steps here create or choose a project set up and choose your billing profile enable billing 
I'm using my crappiest credit card with uh, the least amount available on it. What's that, about two bucks? Uh, so, I'm going to continue. So, in case we didn't catch where I was, we are on. I went, I started on this page right here https forward slash forward slash developers.google.com forward slash places forward slash web dash service forward slash usage. That's where I started. So, my project, I'm just going to call this. Maps to apps dot Larry. Oh, doesn't like the dot. All right. So it's okay with that. Please email me updates regarding features. No, I don't need to know any of that. I agree that my use of maybe okay. Uh, yes, terms of service and blah blah blah. So I am interested in the Places API for web billing. So I want to create my billing account. Keep in mind, this is not supposed to be charged. And I'm going to use the hell out of this test. And if I, if I do get charged, I will note it on this video. Yes, I'm from the U.S. Obviously, I'll have to pause this account type. I'm going to do individual. So, I'm going to fill this out, submit it. Um, obviously, I can't fill this out. I can't do all this in my video. So, I'm going to pause it and we'll be back in just a second. All right, so I entered that information my name, valid credit card. Billing was set up successfully. All right, the billing. You start developing an application. Blah blah blah. Google Maps. Okay. All right. So from there, places details is what we're interested in. Uh, okay, so I've got some stuff to read later. Get a key. Okay, so you remember places details through the web. We want to get a key. Okay, so. If you're using the standard Google Places API web service, so we don't need to do any of this alternative stuff. So let's just boom. So Places backend software. Matching API details. So I need to create a project name, which I did earlier. Maps to apps. Make sure you're registering for Google Places API web service. Continue. Enabling API. And I should have a key at this point. I do not have permission to... Go. Oh, why do I not have permission? Let's see. Create. And voila, this is our 
Google's API key. It should have 150,000 requests on it. I am going to now test that. Okay, let's go over here to global settings. Let's put in this. Save. All right, so let's go test this out. Let's create a new database. Test. API key. Save. So now we're on. Uh, so let's go to uh, something with a lot of. Let's, uh, let's go to Boston. Boston MA. Click on that arrow. It should take us there. Excuse me. Let's just, you can manually draw it or. So let's do uh, all funeral homes. Actually, yeah. Let's just do all funeral homes in this little area. And we are ready to go. Okay, so to make sure our key is working, this is pass through one. It only gets uh, a, a small amount of information from the initial search results. We have to go back and request information from the details database. So let me see if that's happening yet. Not yet. Takes a minute. So it's this is pending. We got 60 so far pending. Okay, there we go. So with that dropped. So when I refresh leads, we're gonna see it start populating the data here. This is the second pass through. left out of so it gets a little you know what I think when it, it spawns out and hides a window it's running uh, a headless browser in the back or no uh, oh yeah it's using node actually and just uh, requesting this information Oh, we got quite a few funeral homes. As you can see, this is a lot faster than going through proxies. And so we're using this new API key. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I hope this helps a few of you out there who have asked for instructions on how to create an API key. Go ahead and uh, if you have questions you can uh, email support at blackmaps.net it'll go to both myself and the main developer Ben. Uh, one of us will respond so the third just so you know now we're going through our third step and that is the uh, headless browsers are running in the background looking for our customizable parsing so 
Now this has to catch up, just so you know, it's a three-stage process here. Just because you have total leads here does not mean it, this part has completed until this counts down to zero. All right. Thank you for your time. Uh, like I said, any questions, get, a, get in touch with us. Support at blackmaps.net. Thank you guys. Bye.